Hi. We've had a, an inquiry in from a subscriber, Dean, asking about how we can run a roof finish over our fascia. Now, I've added a fascia to this uh, model that we went through in a previous video, uh, fascia soffit, where we have the soffit and the fascia board on the one fascia placement. I'll show you that in a section, so you can go find that video if you if you need to. So, how to get the roof finish to run out over the fascia? Generally, you may not want to do that. I mean, that's a it's a level of detail that's not always needed, but um, uh, it just happens that I had to do it recently myself, uh, and it is useful for visuals and 3D and so on. So, uh, I just made this simple model here just to uh, demonstrate the 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 principle, uh, and you can you can do a lot more with it, but. What we're going to do is actually we're going to create another fascia. So it's a fascia family, but we're not going to use it for a fascia. We're going to make it uh, look like the roof and we're going to join it to the roof. And then it's going to look like the roof is overhanging the, the, our fascia board. OK, and then we'll have to adjust this fascia board to bring it down so that it's not uh, it's not conflicting with the, the the new fascia roof finish that we're running over it. OK, so. This roof is finished with concrete tiles. Our depth of our finish is. 18 millimeters. Uh, so I'm going to replicate that. So first thing we need to do is create a fascia profile. And we do that by going to file, new family, then scroll down to metric uh, profile hosted, open. Now we're going to do this really simple. Uh, if you if you're using a more interesting roof finish, uh, then you just modify your your profile and, and uh, accordingly. So here's our insertion point, right? The X and Y planes cross, and our host, which is the roof, is on this side. So this point here is where the our fascia is joining the roof, and our fascia is going to be on this side, the other side of the X plane. Okay. So again, really straightforward. We're just going to replicate tiles running over the the edge of the roof. Uh, so from the origin point, I'm just going to run it out. Any distance, I'm going to put a dimension on it after. Uh, I'm going to change my scale here to make it easier to, to work. And I'm going to put a angle parameter on that because we need to be able to control that with the roof pitch, okay? So I think I have a 35 degree angle in my project. So I'm just going to lock this line first to the X and Y plane. Align and lock. This lock is already selected. And align lock. Okay, let's select that uh, angle parameter and create parameter pairs up here. Click it. I uh, just call it roof pitch, I guess. And okay. And it's going to pull that out of the way. So I want that to be 35. I'm just going to match the roof pitch. Now you can get into making it even more realistic and uh, kink. The bottom of the eaves out, uh, but we're not going to do that here, okay? So our roof pitch is 35. I'm going to create a line, perpendicular, uh, perpendicular to that point, and join, okay? So dimension from this line to this line, and that's the thickness of our roof finish, okay? So same process, I'll do that again. Select the dimension, select the create parameter button. Give it a name, uh, thickness. I'm going to leave it as a type parameter and click OK. Now, remember I mentioned that my roof thickness, sorry, my finish thickness on my project is 18 mil, so I'm just going to match that. OK. Uh, I'm going to dimension the two ends of this. And I'm going to select that and change it to, I don't know, let's say, 50 okay and select the dimension and select the create parameter button and give it a name something like overhang okay and i'm going to change that we could change it in the project but i'm just going to have it ready so that we don't have to play around with the profile uh, parameters in the profile uh, sorry in the project i'm going to change that to 100 it's going to be exaggerated just to make the point okay so and certain point is here uh, we could actually make that line straight to, to match the, the edge of the roof, but we don't need to. Okay, so we can change the overhang length, we can change the pitch of the roof, and we can change the thickness, okay? We'll just save that as 
uh, what? Overhanging eaves. Tile, let's say. Save. Load into the project. Project one. Okay. Now, we have a fascia family already in there. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this one. Actually, I'm going to hide this one because it's in the way. I'm going to hide that. Temporary hide. Select it. Click on hide element. And I'm going to go to architecture, roof, fascia. And fascia soft, that's the type we just hid there. So we're going to edit that and duplicate to create our new overhanging eaves. Okay. Give it a name. That makes sense. I'm going to change the material to the same material as the roof. As I said, it's uh, uh, roof tiles. It's this guy here, I think. Okay. And I'm going to change the profile to the one we just loaded in. What do we call it? Overhang eaves. Okay. And okay. So I click the edge of the roof. Click the edge of the roof. Done. Done. Okay. Now we need to join that. Okay. So modify, join, select the overhang, select the roof. And they're joined now you'll see that the material is not lining up so hopefully we're already using a i'll show you what i mean we're already using a uh, material with a hatch pattern that's uh, in the model category okay if we're not you need to do that you need to change it to a model category so that we can align the materials in in a in hidden line view okay so i can just go to a view above and I already have one here, I think. No, just closed up. Uh, go to a view above. Zoom in. Now I'm going to have to hide that face of soffit again. Hide that. So there's our overhang eaves. We just want to align it with the with the tiles there. So we'll use our line. Select the line. And no, not that one. This one here. Line. There we go. Okay, you can do that on all sides. So then you go into a section, and there it is. That's our overhanging eaves, but it's joined to the roof. It's, it looks like it's part of the roof. No, so you can see we have a problem with the the other fascia family that's now protruding through it. So we're going to edit that. The name of that we need to go down to the profile and find it. So the profile was hip fascia soffit in my case. Uh, fascia 200, soffit 200, okay? So I want to take that down by about 31 millimeters, let's say, okay? So I'm going to duplicate that. Click on it, right click, duplicate, and I'm going to change the name to fascia to 31 smaller is 169. Okay. Uh, 169. Okay. And now I'm going to select that and I'm going to change the. Sorry, I need to change the, the profile first. So select that edit type and change the profile to 169 when we just created. So you see that it goes up uh, through to the roof. It's cutting through the roof. So we need to drop the fascia down. Uh, by 31 millimeters, that's the difference we just changed the profile height to. Uh, so the vertical profile offset when the face is selected, minus 31. Okay. Now our roof is running over, our roof finish is running over the fascia. I hope that was useful. And if you have any other questions, let me know.